Hey y'all, welcome back. So today we're going to do garden to the kitchen and we're going to can lemon cucumbers. Um, so we're going to harvest some and then I'm going to show you when to pick lemon cucumbers and then take them inside and just show you guys step by step how to make pickles. So let's look over here at the garden and I can show you different times of these so like this one here would be ready because it's yellow um like freshly turning yellow so is this one and then of course like this one it's too early i would not pick it's yellow i mean it's lime green so of course it's not ready um I want to try to find you guys. Oh, here's one. This one we can take off as well. And then all I do is you can snip right here with shears or you can just pop it off. So that's how you harvest these. And that's all I have outside in the garden for you guys. Um, so I'll meet you guys in the kitchen and let's get to these pickles, canning pickles. Okay, so some of the things you'll need to make pickles um, and can them would be white vinegar, at least 5% um, acidity. And then... If you just buy the box of jars, it'll come with the lids and um, screws, but I'm using old jars, so I had to get new lids and screws. And then you'll need this canning tool set, so you can have this tool to pull out the jars. Um, this for lids, this is to measure the top, and this is to pull the lids out. It's a magnet and of course you'll need what you're canning and then you can make your own um, seasoning or you can get this Mrs. Wages kosher dill pack which is what I use and it's um, really good and it has um, the recipe on the back of how to do it and then you'll need a canning container with the basket and pretty much for this you just use this to fill it up with water and then that's when you you'll process it so one of the first things to do when canning is fill this up with the water and get it started because it takes a long time for the water to start boiling and you need it to be at a hard boil where even if you stir the boil doesn't mess um, stop so um, I'm gonna go ahead and add the water to this and get it going and then We'll cut these up and then, well, my husband going to cut these. I'm going to just start getting this brine mixed and going through it with you guys. So, stay tuned. Alright guys, so I've showed you what all you need, how to harvest. Um, so, let's start. So, if we go off of our preparing process, off of our um, pack that we have, we are to wash the cucumbers and drain. So I use this to wash my vegetables and then just cold water. And of course they're cucumbers so they have the prickly things on them. So you just want to wash them until the pricklies are off. So that way you're not having to eat those as pickles, okay? I'm just going to set that there and I'll wash another one. And we're just making these lemon cucumbers like dill pickles. Um, so, and that's how I'm cleaning them. So I'm going to do that and then I'll cut it back on once we um, start um cutting the cucumber okay so 
we're gonna cut them into like apple slices and this is how he's doing that and also you want to cut the tops off and the bottoms off of your thing and not so much, you really don't have to I guess because they're in the apple slices but if you have a stem still left on just make sure that's not in the um, mix and this is what the inside of the cucumbers look like all right so we're just cutting and i will show you um the rest of the process so anyway after the wash we would combine the pack our pack and our vinegar into a large pan um and don't use aluminum and then we're just going to bring it to a boil so i'm going to show you guys that next Okay, so this is the part where we're going to add the seven and a half cups of water, three and a half cups of vinegar, and our pack. So, seven and a half cups of water. This is four cups and then three and a half more. And three and a half. And then we do three and a half cups of vinegar. And this is the vinegar I'm using. Um, and back here it says 5% acidity level. Alright, now we're adding three and a half cups of vinegar. And now we're adding our pack. And it smells like dill pickle. <laughs> and you don't have to use this pack. You can just use the water and the vinegar and then use your own seasoning. But this is just an easy process for me. So it works for me. Where's the... So I'll just mix it up and then we're going to bring it to a boil. Okay. Okay, so these are the jars I'm going to use. I'm going to use a 1500 mils. I can't remember. Okay. So this is a three pints, um, six cups jar. And then I cannot remember what these are, but these are the sizes I'm using. And so at this step, you just pretty much take the cucumbers, stuff them in there. Thank you, son. Good job. One more. And you want to pack them pretty tight, so. Um. Yeah. That's good. Thank you, son. Here, put that one in that one. You have to cut some more, babe. So that's all you do for this. Is just. 
you can get these little slip knots. Pack them in nice and tight. If you have fresh dill, um, you want to put that type of stuff at the bottom of the jar um, first. Oop, god dang, I didn't hit my head on a, a, a planter pot. <laughs> they gonna knock me out. So I'm gonna cut some more and get this one full and then the bigger one full. I'm waiting for the brine to boil. And also you wanna make sure you pre-wash and have these jars clean even if they're brand new. You can boil them, wash them in dishwater and soap and um, boil them too or you can just wash them whatever you feel comfortable with. So um, I'll show you guys the next step after this. Okay, so these are the jars that we ended up with. We just did one big one and then this this one um, after getting them full. So basically, you just want to get them packed in as tight as you can. And then you want to leave a half an inch of head space. And you want to do that also with the liquid. So once you fill it up, fill the liquid up all the way up into the jar and only leave a half an inch. So, let's check on our brine. And it is, hasn't got to a slow boil yet. So, we'll keep letting that boil. And then, here is the water for the boil canner. And it hasn't boiled yet. Like I said, it takes a while. So, always start that first before you start anything. Alright, so once this um brine is done boiling i'll show you guys how i fill it up so see you in the next clip okay so all of our product is um coming to um a boil uh, you can't really tell um that this is but here is the boiling water Come on, smoke, go away. Anyway, that's going to a boil. And I also put my lids and my screws in here um, because it helps with the tighter seal um, on the jars. Um, so this has come to its slow boil, and we're going to start uh, filling our jars with this. And then after that, we'll put the jars into the canner. And um let them sit in the boiling water for 15 minutes because we have quart jars so i'll show you guys how to fill the jars up um i can't find my funnel at the moment so it's going to take a while because we have to just slowly ladle so let's get to the next part okay so I'm trying to have everything in the frame for you guys. Um, okay. So, pretty much, give this a good stir. And then we just start putting it in the jar until we are at a half an inch head space. So this is why it's important to have a funnel because as you guys can see the juice is going everywhere. And it's important to pack the jars as tight as you can because once you start putting the fluid in it starts to float around and move around. Okay, so let, can I see some? So now you just want to, yep, we've, we're at about a half an inch left at the top of that one, so that one's good. We'll scoot it over. Ooh, it's hot, be careful. That's why you use one of these <laughs> to grab the tops and stuff to move. Okay, so I'm going to fill the next one up just the same way. Then I'm going to get the lids out of the processing uh, canning container, put them on there, and then I'll show you guys 
um, me lowering the jars into the canning process okay so we have our jars full and now all you do is um, you want to make sure this top is clean and dry as possible I mean it doesn't have to be dry but you do want it free of debris or you know of the sauce because you want your lids to go on you know and seal once it's time for them to seal so you put the lid on and you want to make sure it's tight but not too tight and then so there we have it if your jars don't seal within 12 to 24 hours that's okay just eat whatever the product um, is within a week um, of making them uh, or probably longer um, but if they do seal they have a good uh, shelf life of six months to a year so yeah now we're just going to put it over there in the processor for 15 minutes and then we take them out and we put them upside down on a towel and then we leave them there for 12 to 24 hours i do 24 hours so let's take them over here and i'll show you guys me lowering them in okay so the water oh let me turn this fan on that's probably a lot okay so the water um had the fan on because it was so smoky i couldn't see i was trying to get this rack out i boiled it with the rack um handles in the water but you just take the jars and put them on that rack and you don't want them to touch but if they do that's okay and then you just lower it down into the oh my goodness husband <laughs> just like that is how you no, not like that. oh I think one busted okay so ours busted yep that jar over there busted so we're down to one jar <laughs> you can't tell uh -uh. the seeds all in here okay well anywho so that's why you be extra careful because it's hot everything is hot so you want to put them down gently and don't have them touch because that could happen the jar will bust open so we'll just leave it in there so we can process this big one and then um so we'll do that for 15 minutes and then when it's time to take it out i'll show you guys all right okay so this has been processing for 15 minutes and um you want to start your processing time once you're at a hard boil like that um so this has processed for 15 minutes and i'm going to take it out and place on a towel and you want to Use a tool and take it out. Baby, move somewhere. Come here. And place on a towel, and I'll show you that once I get there, you guys. This is dangerous. <laughs> okay, so here they are out of the processing. Um, you just want to place them on a towel or such, and then you're going to flip it over. Oh, that's hot. Um, you want to put them upside down and that'll help uh, with the sealing process and then you wait 12 to 24 hours and then you press the tops and if they're up and down um, if you can move them up and down then they're not sealed um, if it's hard and you can't like pop the thingy in the middle um, then it's what did I say shoot I messed up if you can move it up and down it's not sealed if it's hard then it is sealed so i'm going to turn these upside down wait till the 24 hours um i'm doing 24 hours so tomorrow night at 9 or 8 15 um these will be ready to eat but then i'll wait an extra day so that way they can um get cold because i like cold pickles so i'll put them in the refrigerator so if you guys like this video go ahead and hit the like button and you guys know my little guy he has to 
be in all videos so he had to make his voice heard but um if you like this video go ahead and like if you have any questions go ahead and comment and always don't forget to subscribe um and thanks for watching come back and see me